I mean learn two topics cyclic decomposition and inverse function. First of all we will go for the cyclic decomposition. I will take a permutation F as 1, 2 and 1, 4, 5, 6. Now I am going to find the transposition of it. And I have already explained how to find the transposition in my pre previous lecture itself. If you have not seen it, of course as usual I have provided the link in the description box. You can see it. 1, 4. And if you have seen this, 1, there, is, there are uh, six, uh, 6, up to 6 here. So S consists of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. The domain, I mean, you can see it as set uh, yes, pre image and the image both are 6, 1 to 6, 1 to 6. But there is only one element is missing here that is 3. 1, 2, 3 is not there, 4, 5, 6 is there, which means 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. If we write this mapping, one ping, uh, everything will be mapped to some other element except 3. 3 will be mapped to itself. So, I can write this 3 separately. Okay friends, this 3 separately because 3 is mapped to 3 itself and it is an identity mapping. So, cyclic decomposition is uh, 2, I mean the length of the cycle 2, length of the cycle 2 and 2 and 2 and finally this one has to be added. This is the cyclic decomposition of F. I write one more G as 1, 2, 4, 5, 7, 8. So I am going to separate this into transposition. I think I have like, like so many gaps here. Just don't mind it. 1, 2, 4, 8, 4, 7, 4, 5. And in this, since up to there are 8 numbers, yes, consist of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. If you see, you are going to see the missing number. 1, 2, 3 is missing, 4 is there, 5 is there, 6 is missing, 7 is there, 8 is there. So the cyclic, I uh, will represent this in a short form like CD. Okay. So, CD, I mean cyclic decomposition of G is equal to, 2 are there, this I mean transposition means cycles of length 2, 2, 1 more 2 and finally 1 and 1. This is, that's it, the cyclic decomposition. <laughs>